What is up you guys, it's Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, today we are gonna be making our own nut butter. So if you saw my video about how much nut butters I eat in a year, it's quite astounding. So go click above if you wanna go check out that video. And so I wanted to try this year to see if making my own nut butter, maybe it saves money, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, and I've always wanted to because I've always meddled with the idea. If I were to come up with my own company, it would definitely be a nut butter company, even though there are so many companies out there. I just, uh, it's obviously a passion of mine, thus the shirt. So I went out and using, reusing the, some of the jars from my old almond butters, I filled them up with nuts in the bulk section at Sprouts Market. And so I only have six of them. So if you want me to do a part two with six different kinds of nuts or seeds, let me know down below because we'll definitely do that. Otherwise, in front of us, of course, we're gonna be making classic peanut butter. These are just raw unsalt unsalted peanuts. Of course, peanuts aren't actually a nut, they're a legume. But anyways, we've got Brazil nuts, cashews, raw cashews, raw macadamia nuts, these are walnuts. I did walnuts instead of pecans. And then pistachio. So I'm really excited. All we're gonna need for this is just a food processor. I don't think I'm gonna have to use any kind of extra oil. I'm hoping not um, because I don't have any like low, I mean I could use coconut oil I guess. I don't know, but I'd prefer not to. And then when I make them, I'm gonna like let them sit overnight so they really stew in the oils. And then tomorrow, I will taste test, taste test them with you guys. So yeah, let's just blend these up real quick. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna have to roast these. I'm gonna just try doing it raw for the peanuts and then obviously raw for all the other ones. So it's gonna take a minute because obviously it takes a while, but let's see how this goes, yeah. And just an FYI for anyone who may want to try this themselves, I'll let I'll share with you guys the cost of the nuts that you know it was at the store. So for the Brazil nuts, this many that I got, it was twelve ninety nine a pound, and I got like 0 0.66 pounds, so eight point seven five, so eight dollars seventy five cents. For the peanuts, this was only two dollars forty cents. We've got uh, macadamia nuts; those guys were twelve dollars and five cents for the pistachios oh no yeah pistachios are ten dollars and 18 cents and then we've got the walnut pieces two dollars i know in 15 cents so this really wasn't that much um but you know there's a lot of space in there so i don't know how much i'll be able to produce and then for the raw cashews i got raw instead of like roasted I mean, you can up for whatever you like. I don't know. I can't remember if there's a price difference, but these were $6.29. So I feel like if I were to have filled it up, it would either cost as much or a little less than buying it myself. So I don't know if the cost ratio will come out to being about even if you do make it yourself. Obviously, it just takes more time. So I don't know. It's just also more eco-friendly if you're reusing your own jars. So just sustainability is always a good habit. And so that's what I want to try going for this year and seeing if it is worth it making my own nut butters. And then if I ever come up with crazy flavors, maybe I'll start my own company. We'll see. But anyways, I'm going to start mixing these up in my food processor and I'll just start with the peanuts. mixing as I was hoping maybe because they're raw nuts and usually peanut butter I feel like is roasted peanuts so that might be my mistake so maybe next time we'll try roasted peanuts but anyways I am going to try adding just a little bit of coconut oil to see if that helps with the mixing and the coagulation kind of of this <music> Oh 
Okay, I think we're just about done here. We might be, I don't know. Let me see if I can pop this open, show you guys kind of what we've got. Oh yeah, that's definitely nice and soft. Peanut buttery. So I'm gonna put this, try to serve this into my jar. I have to label these two, or take out the blade. Don't wanna cut ourselves. But yeah, so I think this worked out fine, even though being not roasted, but I can see that it would just help with like enhancement of flavors. Because now thinking about it, I don't think there really are any raw peanut butters out there. So whatever, I'll be the first to like make it. So I don't know, for any raw vegans, um, you guys can go for this, I guess. You can make it. I mean, it's probably gonna taste just as good. We'll find out tomorrow. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely nice and soft. Oh my gosh. But yeah, a lot lighter in color than your typical peanut butter. Oh man, I do love my roasted peanut butter. And if you guys are wondering my favorite brands of peanut butter, I like Santa Cruz's Dark Roasted Peanut Butter. And the Kirkland, uh, so, so Costco brand, they're just regular organic roasted peanut butter is super super good. I always just get creamy. Sometimes I go through moods where I like to get crunchy but typically I go for creamy. So let me finish this off and then I'll show you the final results before we move on to the next nut. So here's the peanut butter and then I'm just gonna go ahead start with go cashew and just do all the rest of the nuts. so bad news but um, turns out that food processor that my mom has is really really old and I didn't notice that there was like a portion of the blade that was kind of cracking and it was kind of starting to smoke it really couldn't handle the pressure of processing that many nuts and those heart of nuts so I'm going to go buy a new food processor because that one is just so ancient that it's time to upgrade so I'll be back in a jiffy and just go get one at like Bath and Body Works or Target or something. So, see you in a bit. This one doesn't even need coconut oil. This is amazing. This is the Brazil nut.
have all the nut butters right here. We've got the macadamia, walnut, brazil nut, pistachio, cashew, and peanut. So yeah, that one's not roasted, and all of them except the brazil nut needed a little bit of oil. This one came out perfect with the same amount that I put in these guys. So I'm gonna see how they do overnight if oils, you know, help soak up and release so that hopefully it just becomes more buttery, but you know, that was fun. Can't wait to try it with you guys. All right guys, so we are here with the handmade, homemade nut butters, and I'm so excited to try them. I let them sit overnight hoping the oils would come out a little more, seeing how they would do, how they would sit, and I mean, you saw from the video that I added coconut oil to all except the Brazil nut. Surprisingly enough, the Brazil nut did not need any oil. It just naturally came out perfect. So we're gonna jump into it. And I wanna start with, you know, the classic peanut butter. So I'm gonna open this up and try a little bit of it. I'm gonna measure out it, measure it out, my bad. Um, just so that it fits my macros, you know. So here we go. But yeah, I noticed off the bat that, you know, it's a lighter color since we, I wanted to try doing raw peanuts because I've never seen a raw peanut butter. So there it is. It's super light in color. It's different, definitely smelling. Hmm. It's weird. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I don't know if anyone actually makes raw peanut butter. And I can see why. It's definitely not as good as roasted, but it's not bad, it's kind of cool. I've never tried it, and I'm really glad I made it raw. But next time, definitely, I wanna try roasting them myself before making it. I wanted to try a lot of like raw nuts because I know quite a few like hazelnuts you also have to roast a bit. Mmm. But I like that. And obviously, it's like the highest in protein out of all of them. Eight grams of protein for 30 grams. So that was peanut. Let's try cashew. Cashew, even though I added a little bit of oil, it still came out like dry, crumbly. So it's definitely one that I would have to add more oil to, so try to find some non-flavor oil, maybe coconut oil, I don't know. Or let it like blend for longer, we'll see. Mmm, mmm. I love cashew butter, and that, Wow, that tastes so much better than just buying it. I don't know, maybe because it's fresher, but that is so good. I love, love, love cashews. If you guys haven't you know, done this before, you, I totally recommend it. It's fun. It's a little messy and it takes time, but totally worth it. So next, the pistachio butter. It's kind of like the cashew, very crumbly. Definitely could have added more oil but I wanted to do as little as possible just to kind of see how it would come out. Oh, but it smells so good. This one smells so good. I love pistachios. I love pistachio ice cream. Oh my gosh. That'd be so fun to make too. All right. So yeah, super green. I love the color. Crumbly though. Mmm. Oh yeah. But it like melts in your mouth once you put it in. Mmm. Oh, that is so so rich, way better than when I actually bought the pistachio butter because I think it also had a blend of other things. But that is one if I ever want to make again. Maybe I'll do like a safflower oil or some like very, I don't know, maybe I'll try a little more coconut oil. I don't mind, you know, the coconutty taste. It probably won't be too bad. I am so excited to try the Brazil nut because I mean, this one came out super liquidy. No added oil. So this is interesting. This is fascinating. And it just smells so good. And I was making it yesterday, so I'm super stoked to try it. But it's like, wow, so liquidy. It's quite amazing how it came out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Have you never had a Brazil nut? It reminds me kind of like a pecan or walnut. Very similar taste, but different, of course. High in selenium, so if you need your daily dose of selenium, eat just like, I think one or two Brazil nuts and you're good. But this is freaking delicious and it blended so 
smooth. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is so good just on its own. I mean, I've seen blends and other stores that they'll have of, you know, nut butters and it, and it has Brazil nut in it, but you can't taste it unless you have it alone. So that is so good. And then we have walnut, which also came out crumbly, even though I added some coconut oil. So let's see how this one tastes. I love walnuts and like pecans, all those, every kind of nut pretty much. I don't know if there's a nut that I don't like. Other than the raw peanut, that was kind of funky, but. It's super soft. Mmm. Oh yeah. If I had like compounded that with my spoon. Wow. Oh, that is so good. A, a sharp taste. Like if you know what walnut tastes like, it's just literally grounded walnuts. I love that the that I can't taste the coconut oil that I did add. So definitely if I did have to add more to make it like more of a this consistency, it probably would come out, but man. Walnuts have such a prominent flavor that that is just so, so good. Man, that I love it. I'm obsessed with that. Last but not least, the macadamia nut, which I'm so stoked for. Macadamia nuts are so delicious. The highest in fat and calorie. They have, for 30 grams, 220 calories, and I think it's 23 grams of fat. It's pretty crazy, but pretty freaking delicious. I love fresh macadamia nuts. Or those ones that you get, you know, from Hawaii with like different flavors and stuff coated on them. Oh, so good. Okay. Oh my gosh. And this one's so creamy. And I added the same amount of coconut oil. So however much coconut oil I added was perfect for the macadamia nut. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Wow. That's amazing. So creamy and smooth with that rich nutty flavor that a macadamia nut provides. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, that is so good. Oh man. Mm. You guys really should go try this. This is kind of fun. This was really cool. So, I mean, if you did enjoy this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, what other nuts that I don't have in front of me should I try making? Should I do any kind of blends? Like make my own Nutella with hazelnuts and cocoa? What would you guys like to see? But otherwise, yeah, it's super easy. You just literally buy the nut. For all except the Brazil, I use the coconut oil. Um, and honestly, I couldn't taste the coconut oil in any of them. I would say for the walnut, pistachio, cashew, and maybe the peanut, add a little bit more. And for the peanut, maybe next time I'll try it roasted because I feel like it would bring out the flavor a lot more. Maybe add a little bit of salt. We'll see. Um, you know, it's a recipe that I'll have to play around with because what if your girl comes out with, you know, a peanut butter company, that'd be kind of fun. But anyways, yes, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, you know, click the notification bell, stay tuned for whatever next video I have. I think I got a supplement review for you, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.